Hi guys, it's Marty here, and in this video we're going to be covering how to migrate a WordPress website from one host to another without using an FTP client, which can be kinda confusing if you're new to WordPress. This method will work for migrating any type of website or blog built with WordPress.org, and it'll only take us about 5 to 10 minutes to complete, depending on the size of our website. So if you're wanting to migrate a WordPress site to a new host, this is the easiest way I know to do it. And although we'll be using a premium plugin to do it, they offer a 7 day free trial, so if it's something we only need to do once or twice, it'll be free. Otherwise, it'll only be $5 per month. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so in this example I'm going to be transferring this demo website I created for my tutorials, and it's currently on the domain name blogaboutcoffee.com. It's just a simple website with a couple of pages, a few blog posts, and a contact form. But like I said at the start, this will work for any type of website. And I'm going to be transferring it to this domain, wpseocourse.com, which is just a blank WordPress install at the moment. So before we get started we need two WordPress sites, the site that we're going to be migrating, and the site we're transferring it to. And these websites can be on any hosting or domain name, including local installs. Then once we have our two sites, we need to get the plugin we're going to be using. The plugin is called Shipper Pro, and it's by a company called WPMU Dev. So we just need to go to WPMUDev.com, hover over Plugins at the top, and click on Shipper Pro. And then choose the One Site License. If we're only going to be migrating one website, we can use the free 7 day trial, or if it's something we'll need to do quite often, it's only $5 per month if paid yearly or $6 if paid monthly. And there's also a link in the description below that'll get you 20% off their full suite of plugins. Then after sign up we just need to log into our WPMU dev account, and when we log in we'll be brought to a page called My Sites. Or if not we can just click Sites in the top left to get here. And now we need to add both of our sites to the hub, so the original website will be migrating, and the new one will be transferring it too. So to add a website to the hub, we need to click add your first website in the middle. Then we're going to click connect on the left, and choose automatically connect my site. Now we're going to enter our first website URL, and click next. Then we need to log in with our WordPress logins for the site we just entered. And when we do this, our site will be added to the hub. And now we just need to repeat the process for the second site. So we need to click the plus symbol in the top right, then click connect on the left, and choose automatically connect my site. Now we're going to enter the second website URL, and click next. And then we just need to log in with the WordPress logins for that site. And now that we have both of our sites added to the hub, we can install the Shipper Pro plugin. And we can do this from within the hub as well. We just need to click Plugins in the menu at the top. Then we're going to hover over the Shipper Pro plugin in this list and click Add to Site on the right. Now we're going to select both of our sites in this list, and click Install and Activate at the top. And now we just need to click Install and Activate in the pop-up window, and the plugin will be installed on both sites. Once the plugin's been installed, we're going to open up the website we're going to be moving, so for me this is blogaboutcoffee.com. Then we're going to visit the dashboard, and click where it now says Shipper on the left. And on this page if we scroll down a little, and look on the right, we'll see API Migration. And then under this it says Export and Import. And as we're going to be exporting this site, 
we're going to click Begin Migration beside Export. Then for security we need to enter the password for our WPMU Dev account and click Continue. Then we just need to choose our destination site from this drop down list, which is the other site we added to the hub, and click Next. Here we can choose to exclude certain things from the transfer, and there's instructions on how to do this underneath. But as I'm wanting to transfer the whole site, I'm going to leave this alone. Then we can click Next, and the plugin will run a few quick tests, just to make sure everything's set up correctly. Then once it's done, we have the option to change our database prefix if we like, but if you're unsure of what this is, just leave it on Sources Prefix, and click Next. At this point we'll be shown the two domains we're using, the package size, and the estimated time it'll take to complete the migration. And this will obviously take longer for larger sites. Then if we look at the bottom we can see it says, Note that Shipper overwrites any existing files or database tables on your destination website, please make sure you have a backup. So we're going to want to make sure we have a backup of our site before we do this just on the off chance something was to go wrong. And if you're not sure how to do this, I'll leave a link in the description below that'll show you how to back up a WordPress site for free. Then once we're happy with everything here, and we've made any backups we need, we just need to click Begin Migration to start the process. And once it's finished, it'll say Migration Complete. At this point we can visit the new domain name, and we'll see that it's an exact replica of our original. So we now have the same site on both domains. Now the next thing I'd recommend doing is deleting the old site, so there's no issues with duplicate content on Google. And it's also worth noting that we now log into the new site with the login details from the original, so we can log into both sites with the same logins. So that's us now at the end, and that was the easiest way I know to migrate a WordPress site. I hope you find this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to give it a like to show your support, and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials in future. Once again, my name's Marty, and thank you very much for watching my video.